What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live again through the power of the internet. And you probably know by now I'm a bit of a collector. Uh, whether it's video games or Amiibos or Skylanders or Disney Infinity Figures or Magic the Gathering cards, I love to collect stuff. I have a huge collection of collections. But none of this commercial stuff, whether it's video game related paraphernalia, collector's editions, Amiibos, none of that stuff is my favorite thing. I want to show you my favorite collection today. So bear with me. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'll show you my most valuable possession, cash-wise, and then I'll show you my most prized collection. Let's start off with the, the money card. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live again through the power of the internet. And you probably know by now I'm a bit of a collector. Uh, whether it's video games or Amiibos or Skylanders or Disney Infinity Figures or Magic the Gathering cards, I love to collect stuff. I have a huge collection of collections. <laughs> But none of this commercial stuff, whether it's video game related paraphernalia, collector's editions, Amiibos, none of that stuff is my favorite thing. I want to show you my favorite collection today. So bear with me. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'll show you my most valuable possession, cash-wise, and then I'll show you my most prized collection. Let's start off with the, the money card. In this case, you will find some of my most valuable magic cards. Um, most of the bulk stuff is over here. You know, the dollar rares, the $10 rares, the $50 rares. But the most valuable card I own is this Arabian Nights U1. A copy of a piece of art that has been synonymous with the game, Juzum Jin. And it's signed by the artist Mark Teton. And there's an interesting story behind this card. This was a gift for my 40th birthday from my friends. They purchased it for $80. And the last time I checked, this card was worth fifteen, seventeen hundred in that neighborhood. And that's not for a signed version. So I have no clue what this card would actually go for. So this is the most valuable thing I own. Is it my favorite thing? No. I'll show you what it is. Though, let me warn you, <laughs> this collection is going to come across as fairly narcissistic because I'm the centerpiece of this collection. <laughs> Um, and it's, it feels really narcissistic to display this stuff because it involves me a lot, right? But here's the thing about it. It's not because it involves me. It's not because I like looking at myself. It's not because I'm proud of myself. It's because it's stuff that was created by fans. If you took the time to make something for me and send it to me, whether it has my face in it or not, it's something I want to keep. And a lot of it I've chosen to display. And that's what this trophy case right here behind me is full of. This is probably the best one. Um, certainly you've seen my Xbox smashing video at some point as my character, Francis. Um, and this is a clay model made by an artist who sent this to me. Now, you can see the Guitar Hero controller he made as well. This broke during shipping, but I actually kind of like that it broke during shipping. I once tried to super glue it back together and I was unable to. So now I just kind of let it lay there because obviously I broke the guitar just as much as I broke the Xbox. So this, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. I can't believe this exists. If I remember correctly, Pop Vinyl sells some blinks that you can then do whatever you want to with them. Somebody made a YouTube pop series of Boogie2988. I, 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 I missed my own, I'm so excited about it. I mispronounced my own name, but look at that. I've never taken it out of the box. I've left it in there. It is absolutely amazing. I, I, I can't believe that this exists. Well, I definitely one of my favorite pieces in the collection. In the background, you can see some perler bead versions of 8-bit character versions of me and Sammy. And then there's this awesome modified Xbox One controller. I, I've definitely not used this one because I just want it for display purposes. This is absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing piece. Can't believe that I own it. Look at that, 2988 on the numbers. Ah, I just, I, oh, I love, love this piece as well. It just makes me so proud to own this one. Up here on top is a piece that's in a, a wooden box with my name and my face carved in it, my character, um, the piece of art that was done by a uh, Artist over at CD Projekt Red. And I used to keep magic cards in this box, but then I realized I did not want to damage it. Uh, I didn't want to take it back and forth to Friday Night Magic. So now I set it up here on display instead. 
but it's an amazing wooden piece. It's really strong, really nice, but do not want to run the risk of marking it up. So I just look at it, but it's cool. Speaking of perler beads, by the way, here is a coaster set made from Magic the Gathering that we used every week until, you know, COVID happened. Uh, here's a piece of art commissioned of Sammy, a batarang that I, I'm sure you saw in a YouTube video millions of years ago. Francis used that batarang once as well. Another thing made by a fan sent to me and just, oh, it's incredible that people make stuff like that. I can't believe I own an actual batarang. As you know, I was a huge fan of Breath of the Wild and I loved the map that came in the collector's edition. A fan went out of his way and made this woodworked frame to put a Zelda map in and actually put a Zelda map in it for me and sent it to me. So I have the Breath of the Wild map here on display as well. Just another incredible piece. Somebody saw me complain about that in a YouTube video, decided to solve the problem for me. So I get to look at this every day. This piece is back when Titanfall dropped. And I got that Titanfall controller and did a Miley Cyrus parody as Francis of Titanfall over Wrecking Ball. And it was kind of goofy and silly, but it inspired one artist to make this drawing of me at my absolute fattest licking an Xbox controller. Really difficult explaining that one to guests when they come to the house for the first time. They're like, what is this? You don't want to know. <laughs> That's just fat version of me eating an Xbox controller. Don't, don't stress it, don't worry about it. This was a Christmas gift from YouTube. And this is my old YouTube logo back at the time. I've swapped it out for an artist rendition. But if you take a look, you can actually see that these, this is made by comments left by fans. It's really cool. I once sat down and read all of these comments and I could only find one comment that was even remotely negative. Everything else was just so loving and so supportive. So when I get a lot of hate on the internet and I'm frustrated, I always come in here and I look at this and it reminds me that you guys do in fact love me. And I thought it's a great piece to round out the video with. What's so nice about that collection compared to anything else, anything commercial, is that it, it's a nice way to have you guys in my life. Obviously, there's only one of me and there's so many millions of you. And in the last year, obviously, I haven't got to go to conventions and I haven't got to meet any of you, got to shake any of your hands. But even though we're all social distance, even though we're all still locked down, even though that's coming to an end, finally, you've been in my life this whole time. And this has been a way to remind myself why I make videos, why I live stream, why I tweet, why I do what I do to stay connected with you. Now, all this stuff came in the P.O. box, but we don't have the P.O. box anymore. Sometimes I think you should reopen it. But then again, it also feels kind of weird to like ask people to send stuff. So I don't know, especially because I don't always show it off. But today I wanted to show off some of the amazing stuff that I never got a chance to show you in the past. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Guys, I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I'm sure enjoying making them. As always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I will speak with you again soon. Let's see what we can show you next week.